Uh, we did have some setbacks, but now the setbacks are sort of setting themselves aside to become good things. Uh, the first things first, we do have one problem to deal with, which is the problem with that line 4 is becoming just far too popular. I'm going to chuck another Mam GLX 4 at it, so let's just get that on off his blocker Bravo. There's another GLX 4, just to try and keep these waiting times down, because they are getting out of fucking control here. But... I've gone from uh, basically having barely any money to having quite a bit of money. I've got good money coming in. I've been slashing company debt, like with a uh, katana through some nice butter. And coverage is up. It's 44%. Leisure is up to 9%. So we are making progress. We are doing good. We are sort of about halfway through the mission. So I think what we need to do is really we just need to keep getting on with it. Um, Built two lines last at the end of the last episode for this factory, and this factory is doing good. We got 48 collaborators from it. With this one, we haven't got any collaborators because everyone comes from sort of this area. A few come from these houses here, but they don't seem to be very interested in this. And I think I'm going to buy another weasel for line five while I'm here. I'm just trying to keep these. I want to keep waiting times as low as possible overall, just in order to keep a high company image. Because a high company image will guarantee some good money for me. So, just buy another weasel. You know, because if company image drops, then um, I'm going to have, see, drops in ridership numbers and also then drops in um, getting, well, it'll be harder to launch new rides. However, now that money's coming in at a really high rate, got two line followers here, so they're going to cl clean up at this line bus stop for here and as long as I can keep that bus stop regular I'll still make money but we are what we are going to look at is we are going to look at now founding the uh, city railroad network mainly for this stadium because everyone comes to this stadium so basically we've got this village covered for the stadium we've got this village covered for the stadium possibly got these covered we're not entirely sure uh, but there's these ones and these are very long so what I am thinking is now that we've got some decent money in the bank um, I'm going to build city railroad tracks so mainly there's going to be the main bridge which will go across here like so hey look at that good bridge alright so if I keep building this bridge up just sort of like running running near the um, area where's the stadium at I want to Get as close to the stairs as possible. Of course, I'm cleaving through someone's farm, but well, uh, tough, tough shit for them. I'll uh, buy buy them out, and then basically I want to get here. Sort of in the city where we're, uh, as close as possible to their. Well, I don't I don't want to demolish their pavement, but it looks like I might have to. Um, really just depends where I can get this. Uh, where I can get the uh, stick stuff. Like, ah, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just demolish someone else's path. There we go. Sorry about your path, folks, but it has to go. There we go. So, so hopefully the AI will fuck up and let people walk through there. But there we go. That's why I'll be putting a stop to cover. Cover these quite nicely, actually. The stadium and the swimming pool. It won't cover the outdoor swimming pool, but I think we can cover it for now. Or I can just put it in the extra station, but. That had set me back another 400, well, not 40,000. So, first, I'm going to have the line go up by here. Now, keep building the line up. So, we obviously have to go across the. And yet, in, oh shit, I can't afford it. Um, how far can I go? I'll just try and get to, get to near the river. Uh, oh. Shit, I fucked that one up quite a bit. So next up will be to buy another bridge, but there we go. I am starting to invest in a city railroad network. It's gonna span across all of Meadowside, and then really once we have that, my money is gonna explode. My coverage is gonna explode. My percentages are gonna explode. But while we're waiting on more funds to come in, maybe I need to. Maybe I need to also continue releasing the wheels of finance in this uh, fair town. I mean, the wheels are already nice and slippery and greasy, but I think we can get them a little slippery earlier. So if we look at this factory here, we've got folks who come from down here, 
and also around here, and a few from around here. So I see a opportunity to build a new bus line. So does it, I'm assuming this waiting room, yeah, this waiting room covers the station. So let's build up our new line. So start from here, and then oh, and start again. So we start from here, then we go up to here. Then basically we'll go down, down, down by these houses here. Oh, why do I keep doubling everything back? And then we'll go down here by these houses here, then up here, then up through this little residential area here, and then there we go. This is practically a pre-made line. Was, it might have been a pre-made line actually, and I'm just resurrecting it. So I might be resurrecting something that I shouldn't be resurrecting, but maybe because now I'm more popular, I have a better image, it actually might look a lot better and work efficiently. Just gonna get some extra bus stops there down, so we've got the ones from here. And I'm gonna put an extra one for these shops, just so I might be able to scoop up a little bit of shopping traffic while I'm out and about. All right, I'll put a uh, weasel on it just to test it out. So line nine, you are confirmed, and I shall name you There we go. Alright, line nine, I hope you do me proud. F you go, little weasel. Alright, how are you gonna do? Let's go look around. So, line nine, at the minute, is not bringing anything in, but I will just give it some time, just, you know. Hey, 17 people are already planning to use it. There we go. Seven from there, two from there, then the other 17, I don't know. My maths, isn't, my maths isn't really on point today, but I probably can now, while that line brings in a nice little bit of money, I probably can now afford this bridge. So, let's build a bridge. Oh, come on. There we go. It's only 10,000 for a bridge, actually. That is good. That is a very good value. So, what, what's up next? I want to have the line go across here. Try and get some of these houses as well, and then just down by here. Let's make a stop for this like general village, and then next up is the second bit. The going, basically turning around again. So we're running alongside this one. So I'm not making a very bendy rail line here. But it's all going to pay off in the end, so I'll have this just sort of like go around. Cutting through everyone else's gardens and shit, just basically generally fucking up the city, but it's uh, it's not really my concern. I don't really seem to be paying extra for demolishing other people's crops, so uh, starvation is just a side, it's just basically the uh, side thing of this. And I, oh wait, I'm out of money, aren't I? That's why I suddenly stopped building. Right, but that's, there we go, another load of money spent. Quite well spent, actually. We're, get, we're getting even closer now. We've gone, we've gone from all the way from here. We're just starting to build the area up. Soon I'll be able to start affording, like putting in the stops and all that. And then one day we can afford that £800,000 for a brand new city railroad train. And then I will be passing this mission at a rate that you will really, really fucking want to pass out at because I'll just be passing it so hard. And I just keep going down there by these little work buildings. Go down. Then we'll go by this residential area here. Then we're gonna go across this uh, river again. So 16,000. So there we go. I have to make another stop there. So I'm not stopping on this island. This, this is just a completely featureless island that we're just gonna ignore completely. However, I'm gonna have a go by this factory and might be able to scoop up a bit of extra traffic on it. So let's just try. Oh, cat. It's 10,000. There we go. 10,000 pounds. So there we go. Once more. Building up a little bit further, getting closer to my goal, and oh, I've, just, I've dipped into negative money now because I'm spending too much. Oh dear. How much have I? How much money have I blown on this so far? Let's have a look. Uh, construction of tracks this year. I've spent 250. Yeah, I've spent nearly a quarter of a million on this city railroad already. But that does mean I have brought in over a quarter of a million in. Because as you can see. Um, Last year we made 600,000 in total. Actually we made, we came through with a profit last year, which is not not a bad thing to know. Um, and this year we're bringing in decent decent figures again. Like, all right, we're gonna be probably out of pocket due to um, overspending on railway lines, but I think it's gonna pay off because I've got most of it done now. I'm just gonna have it go through these villages here, then to this village here. 
Then all the way back to the start, then we can put in all the stations, and then we can put on the train, and then I can make so much money, just so much fucking money, and probably absolutely just accelerate my uh, percentages, just you know, everything, everything will happen at once. And, oh shit, line three! Line three, line three, line three, and line one, you, you, you are popular today, right? Line one, you get a new, you get an extra MD weasel to help you out, because you need extra people. Line three, we also have an extra MD weasel, so let's go to line three. Good, nice one, nice one, bus lines, nice one. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying these figures, you're, you're filling me with positivity. All, all the lines are filling me up with positivity right now, but I'm getting, I'm getting good figures in general. I might need a new bus on line 5, I might also need a new one on line 7. So let's get another MD Weasel. It's, it's day of the weasels really, though. it's just going to be weasels all the way through. So let's get an extra one. Um, so I nearly afford to new one on line 5. Go, extra. God, I've just got Charlie has so many bus fees and they're all bringing in good money as well, I mean, you know, it's not like I've overspent on bus as well. Oh, my power's got in the bottom room. Um, it, oh, it's actually my high bottom line. Okay. 282,000, line 14, 15,000, line 2, 206,000. Line 2 is out there in line 1, which is something I wasn't really expecting, so I'll take that. However, line 5 is waiting times are dropping severely and I don't want really to happy about that, but um, it's a bit of a twisty, turny, nasty situation we're in here. But either way, I can just continue spending money on more railroad, railroad tracks, but hang on. Let's just stop there. I don't think I can get a railroad through there without demolishing something. I don't want to do that because de demolition costs will go through the roof. So I know what I'll do. We'll have our line. Uh, game, don't freeze on me. Uh, We'll have our line go up here and then down by here, and then we'll just make us very. Oh, I did demolish something there. Oh well. I'll we'll make a very sudden and dangerous turn there. I'm sure the railroad safety authority will allow that one to slip by. Keep building the railroad tracks. Right, money again, really. There we go, 4,000 pounds spent, then let's see, oh, wait, now I've got another 25. See, I like it when a, when a big load of guys uh, come, come by, because that means I get to get a big load of cash chucked in my account. So now we go down across here, still still cutting up everyone's, uh, like, sort of, like, peaceful country roads, but cutting through up all the farms as well. Basically, you know, I, I, I show absolutely no regard for other people in this game, you know. You know, just fuck you guys. I'm one with the uh, thousands of dollars who can just build his, well, build his railway, railroad lines, whatever the fuck he wants right now. And I'm building them on top of you, bitch. I need more money again. I'm out of the green, but now I'm nearly. Oh wait, now I'm now I'm back, now I'm in the. Oh, fuck, I'm out of money again. And I've, still, I've slashed a little bit more debt off as well, by the way. I haven't slashed enough off yet. But I think once this uh, railroad is up and functioning, my company value will just get fucking explode. It'll just. It will become godlike. And I think we could probably use another bus on line 2, actually, because how many buses am I running on line 2 at the minute? Let's have a look. I'm running 4 buses at the minute, 4 MD weasels, all of which are doing well. However, like, the. Uh, getting a lot of traffic at the stage, so I might invest in the next one. I think I'm definitely going to invest in an extra weasel for line 7 though because line seven's waiting times are really really starting to dip badly. And it's a shame because line, line, line 7 is, really does have potential to make me a lot of money. It's just that I need to really really hammer down how efficient I want this line to be. You know, it's all about the efficiency in this game. Everything has to run very very smoothly. If things don't run smoothly my money income is not smooth. My money income is rough. And then it just buggers everything up. It buggers up all my plans for improving transport in the Meadowside area. Well, I can afford that bridge. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just finish this off. All right. Hey. Oh. I'm out of money at the last fucking minute. Keep going into the negative money zone here. Oh, well. We'll get out of it again. I'm, 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 I'm making money. 
you know. So I, 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 I ain't. But the next step will be to will be to build stations. That's going to cost me at least about maybe two hundred thousand to get set up all the stations. That's not something that we have to pay for a tram. I could have probably actually uh, maybe should have thought about working a few of these bus lines into tram lines. And this, uh, Oh well, my, my mind's just been set on those city railroads, you know, those city railroads are what gets me rare in the morning. Before that first station, actually. So uh, we may as well end this year with a very nice purchase. So we'll start start from this small village here. So if I let's just see uh, this would be the best no um Hey rotate, come on, come on, rotate dude. Rotate. Rotate, rotate. come on. Wish I was like a manual rotation key, but I haven't heard of it yet. Um, hey, get, hey, right, that will be the optimal position for this uh, station. So right, we've got. So there we go. One station down. Quite a few to go, but now this means I am on my way. So I'm going to put another station here for these guys here. Then I'll put one at Fort Goodison. I'll put another one here for the office blocks and the swimming pools. Then we'll focus mainly on getting them in each village, just in each residential area. So basically, allow, basically it's, it's going to be one big way of just getting people to Fort Goodison because that's just going to be the, the main goal of this uh, railroad. And I hope, I'm hoping um, deep down that it'll be as a runaway success as the one we had in the last mission. However, this is where we're going to end this episode for today. So next time on Let's Play Traffic Giant, we're going to build up our station network and then we're going to get these city railroads running and we are going to make ourselves so much money and we are going to pass this mission. So see you then, folks.